Hi everyone, it's Susan and Raji back for another neuroplasticity lesson. And last lesson we talked about the homunculus and the cross section of the brain and where your body parts are. And we did a really awesome meditation to kind of show how to track that down through your, your body, wherever you're working, wherever you're needing to do it. So today what I wanna do is bring in another piece. And that piece is really visualizing muscle groups. So it's one thing for Raji to get back in touch with her leg and watch other people walking and those mirror neurons, but our bodies are extremely complex. I mean, the human body is just fascinating in itself. Um, and we have so many different muscles that are firing when we're trying to walk. So part of the work is going to be really understanding our anatomy so that when we are trying to visualize what we're trying to do, if you have pictures of muscle groups and you, you have the specifics of where you're really trying to hone in on, um, it's going to help you visualize better. And one of the issues that Raji's having is she's having a little bit of trouble visualizing. Wouldn't you say so, Raji? Yeah, absolutely. And we have talked about kind of the structure of your leg. And one of the, the body parts, one of the most important body parts that's pretty atrophied right now on your right leg is your gluteus maximus on that side, right? So when you walk, all of whatever motion we do, we have, um, oh no, I'm forgetting words. An antagonist and is it an antagonist and antagonist? <laughs> Shoot, I'll have to look it up. But point being, like if I were to flex my bicep, this muscle's working and this one's relaxing. And then if mm -hmm. I put my arm out, yeah, my tricep is engaged and my bicep is relaxed. Okay. So in order for us to be efficient with our bodies, innately, our bodies move half and half like that. So we have support always. Now, when people get hurt or they have a tumor or something goes down, immediately their body engages all the muscles at once because it's in a fight or flight state and it doesn't remember how to divide them up like that for efficiency. So in other words, when you're walking, you're seeing your whole leg as one thing moving through. You're not thinking about antagonists, antagonists, they got it. <laughs> I have to look that up. Um, so we have to train your brain to be super efficient and to picture certain muscles engaging, right? Mm -hmm. When you begin to walk, when you put that pad of your foot down, you're actually gonna push forward with your glute. And then when you step, part of your quad's gonna light up and then it's gonna trade off like that. The quad and the hamstring and the glute, they're gonna like, they're gonna shift. One's on, one's off, one's on, one's off. And so I'm just curious, you know, we have a lot of work to do with your leg, but mm -hmm. I would like for you to see if you can get one particular part of your leg to be focusing on that and feel maybe that light up and that one be measured and see if it can grow if you just mm -hmm. focus there. And I feel like we should start with a glute because that's the major push that engages. That's the muscle that pushes when you engage. And that's one that you really can measure pretty, pretty easily. Cause you've told me that you've done a lot of work on your left leg and have seen your glutes, glutes significantly increase, right? Mm -hmm. Well, also on my right leg using the, um, those braces from the specialist in San Diego, I had mm -hmm gotten um I mean I've had those braces since 2014 and you know I haven't I don't use them constantly all day long but you know for you know a few hours at a time in spurts and stuff and so um I have actually like I'm I'm to the point now where I can actually flex the glutes in my right leg okay but so what I wanted to ask you is that and before I it was so minute like I couldn't I couldn't actually like feel that like 
flexing of them. I mean, it's very small, obviously baby muscle still. Um, but I wanted to ask you, like, do you think that, um, again, and I, and it all makes so much more sense now that I'm talking to you and like what you've taught me about, like focusing on that particular muscle and the brain and the neurons and all that. Um, because, you know, I, I guess if I'm just sitting and I am not like really thinking about engaging the muscle, then obviously yeah. it doesn't fire. But like, if I think about it, like right now I'm like, okay, squeeze the, you know, the glute muscle and I, and I can feel that. So how often should I be actually like thinking about that if I want to grow it and, you know? Well, I mean, as much as possible. So you okay. remember last time when you said you were last session, you were getting a little frustrated and the more you think about it, the more improvement you're going to make. But I, a minimum want you to do it. Like I want you to set up a timer on your phone. And especially now that you're getting back to work and you're going to be busy that you focus on it 20, 30 minutes a day. If you can do it more, it's going to catapult you that much further ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But seriously, like it would be good to not only do a timer that you, it goes off and you're mentally working on that during your day, because you, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have to have a workout facility to do that during the day. Right. Yeah. But then maybe you could schedule yourself out a workout plan three days a week where you are putting those races on, doing it physically, mentally, and out loud, you know, mm -hmm. the races would be like amazing. And then when you're not in your braces and you're doing your daily, daily, you know, mentally try to do it, visually do, try to do it, physically try to do it. Um, but just do it as much as you can until you get exhausted by, you know, your brain will tap out. Okay. That was the so other thing. I would, really, I would really love to see you do it with the braces on and just during your daily walking. I want to show you something here. And I'm going to probably put this in another uh, video also, but check this out. Um, Adam has this amazing place he goes called Bridging Bionics. And they're doing a big study right now where they're measuring his improvements in his body. And so you can see over the last year, they've taken these measurements. And, um, and so he works on... So Adam's our quadriplegic. He's the co-founder of the other founder of Monster for Quads. I'm sorry, what did you say? That you can see that they're increasing for the most part. Yeah, so look, this was COVID where okay. he didn't get to work out from like March. He finally went back in May. Okay. Oh, wait, May. Well, COVID happened in March, April, May. Somehow he got measured in May, but he had atrophied. Look at everything went down from COVID because he wasn't able to work out. Mm -hmm. And then his, when he started being able to work out again, immediately everything went back up because he had that muscle memory. And look at this calf down here. It went from 11 and a half to 11 and three quarters. Mm -hmm. He started just touching his calf and like bouncing it around because he's, he's getting more sensory sensation with it. Mm -hmm. And just because of that, it grew a quarter of an inch different than the other one. <laughs> yeah. um, Isn't that fascinating? Yeah. But look at the muscle changes. Look at his right thigh. Mm -hmm. An inch, you know? Yeah. So it's just, it's mental and physical. It, it works. It makes, it, you can make changes. And even if you were to gain a quarter of an inch of muscle in your glute, you're going to be feeling that. And mm -hmm. you're gonna have different performance, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, what I want you to do is, I don't know if you can. I just want you to stand up and walk with your left leg, the good leg, putting the ball of your foot down. And as you're pushing through, I want you to think about engaging your glute. Okay. And the glute is helping you push through that step. And we're going to focus on that muscle first. Okay. Okay. So I want you to focus on the left, the good leg, feel the glute push through. And then I want you to do it with the right leg and feel the glute push through. Okay. Got it. Did you 
you purposely take us off video? I was just trying to set this up, but hold on. Oh, no I, problem. I accidentally probably clicked on uh, shoot, where to go? Sorry. Oh, now you <laughs> Okay, so this is without braces, but so pushing. Can you feel the gluten gauge on the left foot or on the left leg? Not really, but <laughs> I think I'm concentrating too much on the left. Wait, did you say left or right? Left. On your left, on your good leg, I, I want you to. Yes, yeah, so I can feel it on the left. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent feel it. On okay, the left. but not not on the right. Okay, so I just want you to visually intend to have that sensation on the right side. And now you're gonna put the ball of your foot down, and you're gonna push through whether it's doing it or not. I want you to just envision it. We have to build that map. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be visualizing that first. Okay, you can see everybody on the screen how her left glute is larger than her right. And so we're going to visually intend to focus on that muscle. I wish we could take a measurement and see over the next few weeks what happens to it. Okay, so Raji, thank you. Come back to the screen. And what I want to do is I'm going to pull up a little video so that you can visualize the muscles better. And this will show briefly what I was talking about, about half of the leg firing and then it takes a break and the other half fires. So here we go. Um, all right, let's watch this video. I would like to slow it down. I wonder if I can slow it down. Here we go, let's slow it down. See when he pushes through on his left, so that he's lifting, pulling the quad through, then he puts the foot down and the Gluteus lights up when he steps. Do you see that? So we're gonna focus on this guy lighting up when he steps right there. Boom. See where his foot is? And then so his foot is pretty much flat when that glute lights up. Mm -hmm. It's at the moment where you're pushing the yep. leg through. It's like the glute lights and then the calf lights. Mm -hmm right there and then the calf finishes the action so i just want you to focus on the glute okay and you can even say out loud glute 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 mm -hmm. glute glute we just want your brain to tap into that one muscle for this this next practice session. Okay. Okay. So, um, how is that resonating with you? I mean, it's easier now um, seeing it visually in that video. So, and I have been watching, like you said, you know, yesterday when I was went and uh, was I walked to the location for voting, and I was walking watching people walking and. It was a little bit, uh, it was funny though, because there was actually a few people on my walk back that were running. And so that's, even, that was a little hard for me to um, connect with, because obviously I'm not there yet. So, but the walking, I am a lot more conscious of. Good. Okay. Well, focus on people's glutes. Just go looking at everybody's butts. <laughs> <laughs> and watch that action. See if you can start connecting to that one muscle. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to put this up. I'll put Adam's measurements up, you know, and 
we will continue to see your progress. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye everyone.